Hey guys, Master Ningen here, and bringing you another summon video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, today we are going to be doing our three discounted multi summons on the Warrioress of Universe 6 banner. Uh, it's another one of those things where you get three multi summons for 30 stones each, and each one is a guaranteed SSR. So if we just bring up the scouter here, this means the last unit of your multi summon is going to be one of these units. Uh, so we've got Kale who I didn't pull the last time around, so still don't have her. Uh, I've got Khalifla, uh, you'll have probably seen from the Peppy Gals video that I did, I have her with a couple of paths open, still need at least one more to max her out, so that's not too bad. And then for some reason, considering it's the Universe 6 banner, it's got uh, this uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, the AGL Golden Freezer, and which is really strange because they're basically the resurrection of F themed units, I'm not sure why. And then the Tech Whis, who is not bad, but definitely not the main one we want to go for. Um, and then as discussed in the last video I did, when I did the summons on the Hybrid Saiyans uh, banner, the reason why I feel like these discounted multi-summons are worth doing if you have the stones to spare is if you go into the list of all the available units and scroll to the bottom of the SSRs, uh, you can see that the banner contains LR Goku Black, LR Gohan, um, I don't know why they're separated in such a weird way this time, Marseillean's on there who's obviously very useful, and then there's LR Broly and LR Margin Vegeta. Um, obviously the rates are low, so don't summon on this banner expecting to get one of them. It's definitely not the kind of banner that I would say, even if you had a load of stones saved up, this is not the kind of banner to chase an LR. Um, you can see here the tech banner is on at the moment. Um, that will have LR Goku Black on it. Uh, the rates are still low, but the rates to pull him are higher on this banner than they are to pull an LR on either of these banners. Um, so like I said, it's worth to do if you have 30, 60 or 90 stones to spare because you're getting a discount, you're getting a guaranteed SSR at the end um, and there is a slight chance to pull them. But if you are free to play or maybe you only have 30 stones at the moment, I probably would wait because we're getting another, I imagine we'll get another Dokkan Fest fairly soon. Uh, it's only going to be a few days or a week at most until the Gohan one goes and rumours are... Uh, we might be getting the Angel Golden Freezer next, although we're still waiting for Super Saiyan 3 Broly, so who knows. But let's just hop in straight away and see what we can get with our first multi summon. Uh, hoping for either a Kale or a Khalifla to start off with. Um, so go Rainbow and let's see what we can get. So Super Saiyan 2. What are we going to get? So, start off with an R, which is of course great. A couple more. And a Geta. SR Whis. So they're useful for raising the super attack of any of the other Whises that you happen to get. So, a lot of trash so far. So there's Khalifla. And yeah, that was the last one. So, that's another one to max out the one I have already. Um, she's a good unit for Super AGL for Super Battle Road because of her ability to dodge attacks. Uh, it's not something you obviously should rely on because it is only a percentage chance to dodge, but she can hit a lot harder. I waited quite a while to get her up to Super Attack 10, and now that I've finally done it, um, I think it was definitely worth it. She hits pretty hard for a unit that doesn't have a Dokkan Awakening, so... Okay, so we're starting off with uh, a random unfeatured SSR, the old Spirit Bomb Goku. That's uh, interesting. So, as I said, the guaranteed SSR on these is always the last one, so any ones you get before that are a bonus. So, the Horrible Art Vegeta, Final Form Frost, and then the AGL Goku. Oh, and he wasn't the last one, so we got an extra one of the featured SSRs. And and then we got Kale, awesome. So finally got her to add to the collection. Um, so neither her nor Khalifla have an awakening on JP, but I imagine that they will get one at some point. Uh, maybe when Kefla comes out, uh, obviously we still don't have her on Global. Um, she doesn't have an awakening on JP either. So as it gets closer to Japan's three year anniversary, 
uh, we'll probably start seeing awakenings for units like the Ultra Instinct Goku and the Universe 6 Warriors, but we don't know for sure, so that's one of those things we'll have to wait and see. So let's hop into the last one here and see what we can get. One pod. It's not a uh, not a great start. So Super Saiyan 2, probably not going to go to 3, no. So let's see what we can get here. So we've got three SSRs in the last one, which is pretty decent. And what are we going to get this time around? Nothing particularly great so far. Yamcha. Margin Boo. Hmm. And another Khalifla. Well, at least we didn't get stuck with the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku or the Agility Golden Freezer. Because at this point, I think I've got the Agility 1 to SA10 and my Tech Golden Freezer is at 100%. So I really wouldn't have had any use for either of those. But those are the discounted multis there. As you can see, got a few SSRs, a couple of random ones, including that physical Goku. Um, but we finally got a Kale to add to the collection. Um, so like I said, it's definitely worth... Having a go at the discounted summons if you have the stones to spare. Um, but if you're free to play or you don't have too many stones at the moment, it's probably worth avoiding it for now. As the next Dokom Fest will be coming up fairly soon. But that is going to do it for this quick summoning video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe for more regular Dokom Battle content. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mars Ningen. Feel free to tweet me any summon pulls. If you did pull LRs from this banner, let me know. Um, either in the comments or, like I say, tweet me the screenshots. Uh, we're getting super close now to the 100 subs. So hashtag 100 Mortals plan all over the comments. And I will see you again soon. Have a good one.